Hello and welcome to a very special Den of Iniquity. This one coming from Screamvention. Woo-hoo! Yes, we did it. We're here. Yes. And as part of that, obviously, we're going to be interviewing some people. First off, we have uh, Jessica Cameron and Heather Dorf. Hello. The stars and makers of Truth or Dare. And I think you're both starring in Mania as well. Or? I directed Mania and produced it. She did not star in it. She was supposed to for many, many months. And then she refused to star in Mania because of the nudity. This is true, unfortunately. <laughs> it's true, and I'm never going to hear the end of it. But that, yeah, that, never. That, that sound, that high frequency sound you're hearing, that's my heart like shattering in my soul. <laughs> Right. It's fine. I'll get her naked in the sequel. Ugh. Excellent. Good to know. Get so Good affected. Know. Heather Dorf, naked, full frontal, full everything. You fucker. So, <laughs> so, moving swiftly along before this becomes proper adult entertainment, which will be off the camera, I hope. Anyway, um, how are you finding your trip to Limer- or to Ireland so far? Oh my god, we are loving Ireland. Dublin is amazing. The people here are fantastic. They are some of the best horror fans in the entire world. Yes. Oh, thank you. It really is. It's a beautiful... I mean, like most European cities, it's so different from America. I mean, you see buildings are thousands of years old. That's just not true no, in America. Right. It just doesn't exist. So it's just such an experience to be here. And like she said, people are amazing. I really genuinely love Irish men and also people. <laughs> Noted. Uh, as opposed to... You've, you've obviously done a lot of conventions around in America... Have you done other conventions around Europe, or is this your first foray around here? This is our first foray around here. Yeah. And how do you find? Is there a difference in the crowds? Is it the same kind of people coming, or have you noticed that you know attitudes are slightly different? I, you know, the biggest thing I think I've noticed that's different is people are so much more willing to approach you here. Believe it or not, in America, there's a lot more timid. Um, Although it's kind of opposite. So people are willing to come up to our table and talk to us. But like in America, every five seconds people stop me for a picture. Whereas the photographers were doing it today because of this makeup. But none of the fans were. And it's like, guys, I'm totally happy to take pictures. But I think they're like timid if they know you're a guest. They don't want to bother you. Right? And it's so much of a different in America. If you're, if they think you're a celebrity, if you have cool makeup, they will bother you. Like, absolutely. Whereas here, I think people are... A little bit more like I don't want to bug them. Yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> but the best part is, like, you know, once they saw our film, Truth or Dare, they walked up to a table, they want to talk to you about it, mm-hmm. they want to learn more, they want to get involved, and that's great. So it's kind of opposite a little bit. Cool. It's so- great because they're so friendly and they're so outgoing and they're so engaging. And what I love about the Europe fans is that they are so enthusiastic about everything you're doing. So when it comes to the truth of dare, um, was this the first screening of that film here or in it Ireland? Was, or? No, we actually screened at the uh, at IFC for Horrorathon, mm-hmm. which is m- one of my favorite film festivals in the entire world, and it's typically in the fall in Dublin, obviously at the IFC place. Um, and we screened there in 2014. It was so wonderfully received, and we screened Mania there just this past year. And what was the reception like when you screened it here? Unfortunately, it was I was really, really strong. I wanted to see all the films, but as <laughs> you the two of you know, I got roped into doing a load of crap, so I have missed, I've missed everything. It's mm-hmm. totally but fine. It Here's the thing: we get it, we understand. It sometimes happens, and it's unfortunate, but we get it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and I was lucky enough that I got flown into the Truth Dare screening in 2014, so I did not come out here for the Mania screening in 2014. But I'm here now, which is all that matters. Yes. Hopefully, we'll be back for besties. Yes. After coming over to Ireland and after hearing, um, I know you went on the, we all went on that horror tour last night. Oh, so much fun. So what do you reckon? Is there a possibility of an Irish horror film being made? Oh, the- I actually have been dying to make a horror movie here. Um, I really want to make a witch movie. If you steal it, I will kill you. And if you don't believe me, just watch Truth or Dare. I will kill you in a myriad of ways. Uh, but I really want to make a witch movie that details with the Irish history. And I want to do it with like the abandoned, like actual beautiful landscapes that are in Ireland right now and then also the English uh, cemeteries because mm-hmm. they're amazing and they're brilliant and she'll come she's she loves she's a whore for travel it's fine she'll I do am. it for cheap it's very true fuck you <laughs> <laughs> and Tiana Nori who's a wonderful screen queen lives in a, she moved one of the best screen queens in Ameri- in Canada. She was based in Canada. She moved to London, England. So I'm like, I that's great for me because I will hire you to like work in my little Irish witch story. And I have to wonder, do you already have new stuff lined up? Do you already know what it is you're going to be doing next? I do. We're going to be making a movie called Besties, which is basically, we've all seen those movies about a group of women that get stranded in a room. They don't know how they got there. And we see like what they go through. And we all know what day one through three looks like. 
So my movie starts on day five. <laughs> right when people are starving and dying of thirst, what does that look like? And then add to the fact that nobody's coming for them. And they don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, legitimately do not know. Okay, so you have that film coming out. You've also got, I've seen the first episode on Scream Queen Stream. Oh my god, so good. The, the episodes, and <laughs> so I good. take it you've got more of them coming? <laughs> I'll let you lead this. Oh, what am I Dorf is, like, very say? anti. Like, Dorf took a while to, like, be, like, pro Scream Queen Stream. She was like, fuck this. <laughs> She's like, Jessica, nobody's really going to care. Uh, well, my thing is, like, I just didn't think people would be interesting, interested in seeing us, like, normal us. Not like us in film or with a plot and, like, beginning A, B, C, N. I just did not think people would give a fuck, to be honest. But apparently they do. And to be fair, like, I guess I don't see it. We just have our banter. We're weird. Like, we fight this all the time. This is exactly what it is. I mean, if you look at anyone... When you do the behind the scenes thing, the whole reason people want to do it is, oh, this is what they're like in real life. Yeah. I Whoa, guess they're actually just as messed up in real life as right. they seem to be on the film. I think that's what it boils down to. I didn't like see the value in that people do kind of want to know how it is, how we are together right. day to day. We do so much like promotion film, conventions together, but um, I think people want to be more plugged in into our daily lives. And I just did not think, I didn't really take that for granted. So now that we're doing it... You did it, take that for granted. I did take it She was like, Jessica, granted. no. Nobody's yeah. going to care. I'm like, no, 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 Dorf. Dorf. That's no, true. No. Yeah. So now that we're doing it, and you know, what's funny about it is we're all timid compared to what we're going to be doing. Because <laughs> I'm like, let's get... Now that it's like... Now that I see people react, I'm like, let's get crazy. I am not. She is. I'm like, let's get crazy. I'm already coming up with like lists of like crazy things to do. And, you know, still being ourselves, but being ourselves in like the most you know, clear light. Like, me and her are both kind of wild in a certain <laughs> way. I think we're more blunt than most people. Oh, um, no, um, no, no. You might be more blunt than most Americans, but, my dear, you're in Ireland. Now. I know. That's and so more true. And accurately, you're dealing with the bluntest of the blunts. Maybe that's why I like you guys so much, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we get that a lot. You either love us or you hate us. So, um, I have to ask, we're going to wrap things up. Will you be back next year for Screen Invention Part 2? If they'll have us. Yeah, hell yeah. If they want us, we will be here so enthusiastically. Yes. And we will happily screen besties. Yeah. And also, who knows, like, if you actually want us to come back and screen some exclusive Scream Queen stream, we would be so honored to do that. Right. That could be interesting. Right. Or we could do a wee little crossover thing. Then of Nick when he meets Scream Queens. Yes. That could be interesting or very messy. <laughs> or Consider a how little bit both. Went. Yeah, a little bit both. Okay, um, just like to bring things to an end. Thank you both again, Jessica Cameron, Heather Dorf. You've been fantastic interviews. You have put on a performance that has far <laughs> excellent in your uh, Women the Women in Horror Month. And um, yeah, you're hilarious to see drunk, which is brilliant, brilliant. For all those that are interested in Jessica Cameron, Heather Dorf, you can go look up um, Truth or Dare, look up Mania, look up uh, Scream Queen Stream, which I believe is up on YouTube. Yeah. It and, is, um, and on Patreon. And yep, on Patreon, Patreon, apparently. We have to try to earn a living doing this, otherwise eventually we will cease to make art. We'll be living with y'all in, y'all pl- in your place. I feel like that's not a I choice. feel like that's not good incentive. Dorf so, so, will sorry. be living with you regardless. So if you want Dorf to live with you. Yeah, just, yeah, throw it us our way. Share, like, watch. Right? There you have it. Come to Screenvention next year. You get to see these two live. They're hilarious. It's brilliant. We are very ah. entertaining. <laughs> if in doubt, just like watch... Are you gonna gr- Okay. No! <laughs> you can't fuck it! You bitch! <laughs> I've been sending myself these. I think that right there might be the end of the discussion. You have my phone! <laughs> <laughs>